What's up guys? Today we are going over the exact equipment on how to start a $10,000 a month gutter cleaning business and beyond. But let's get right into it. How about it? So the first thing that we need is a blower and I like to use a gas blower just because it's super easy to refill at the job and it lasts me a long time. Now, with the gas blower, you want it to be a handheld blower, especially if you're getting on these steep roofs, which we'll get into the safety stuff in a quick second. But you want to have a handheld blower because it's extremely mobile. It's extremely user friendly to clean out gutters, especially in these contorted areas. I have found that the handheld blower is the best. Now, you can get a backpack blower, and I do have a backpack blower for those walkable roofs because it does have a lot more power. So if you have a walkable, just flat roof, I would definitely recommend a backpack blower, but the chances of you getting those consistently are far less scarce than getting these types of contorted areas that you need a handheld blower. So I would definitely start off with that handheld blower. I like steel, I like echo. You can get one for a hundred bucks on Facebook marketplace, or you can get one up to about 320 bucks if you decide to do the new route with like a steel. That's what I use and I absolutely love it. So the second thing you're gonna need is a ladder. And I like to use the Gorilla Ladder because it can go into A-frame and it can go into extendable. I use a 26 foot Gorilla Ladder because it also gives you the ability to put it in the back of your truck at very good ease. And also it gives you that access to, to basically put it in a, in a car in an aluminum ladder. That's very straight up. It, a lot of cars don't have that ability. So if you're working with something less than a truck, I would definitely recommend a gorilla ladder because you can fold it and it goes right into the back of your car very, very easily. I would recommend getting at least 20 feet of ladder because you want to reach those high peaks. You want to reach those high end areas. But I'll get to a quick second on how I believe the most efficient way on cleaning a gutter is actually. Number three is you wanna have a ladder stabilizer. So these ladder stabilizers is basically this attachment at the very top of your ladder for safety precautions, but it basically hitches onto the roof, it has these little sponges on the end of them, and it basically keeps that ladder stable so you're not moving all over the place and the ladder's not going all over the place, especially if you don't have someone there. You basically want to have that stabilizer there at all times because it is the most safe way of, of, of cleaning a gutter and getting on top of the roof. Number four are a pair of gloves. A pair of good gloves does go a long way and you can get these for like 20 bucks on Amazon or at your local hardware store, but definitely get a pair of gloves because you are going to need to man scoop some of these areas that your blower can get to. So just get a nice pair of gloves that fits you well and are able to take out the debris with ease, guys. You know what I'm saying? Number five is a good pair of goggles. And a good pair of goggles that don't fog up immediately, but keep you righteous in your eyesight. You wanna be able to see, but you don't want that debris falling into your eyes because it can contort and uh, misinterpret your vision when you're up on the roof, which you absolutely do not want. So you definitely want to have a pair of goggles. Number six, and kind of pivoting into now the more safety precaution of this stuff because it is very important, is a pitch hopper. And I believe I use the pitch hopper more so than a harness. I'm just comfortable with that. But we'll get to the harness in a quick second. The pitch hopper is a sponge block, and these things range, they're, they're about 100 bucks pitchhopper.com. I'll attach the link below. You can stand with substantial weight at a 12-12 pitch with these things. It has been studied. These things are phenomenal. They're super mobile. You get two of those on the roof and you can crank out a lot of roofs with these pitch hoppers at a very affordable price point. I highly advise them. I, I love them. I truly do love them. I think uh, every gutter cleaner needs them, especially if you're going on top of the roof. It takes a little bit to get used to them, but literally they've, sa they've saved my life, legitimately. So, pivoting into number seven. So number seven is this 
basic it's called the goat and the goat is this like ridge clip where you can hook it across the roof it gives you step ladders so you can step on it if you combine that with the pitch hoppers it gives you the ultimate stabilization in my opinion and ultimately you can get on steeper roofs with these with this thing called the goat it does have a costly price of about 700 bucks you can find a cheaper one on amazon and reinvest back into a better one but i would highly suggest something along the lines of this because it is a lifesaver and it does allow you to have the ability to climb up steeper roofs and the last thing that we need is a harness and this is completely i would be doing you an injustice if i didn't tell you you needed to get a harness for educational purposes but definitely have a harness on board just in case because those key those things can be a lifesaver and i would just highly suggest you have it especially if you feel uncomfortable being on top of a roof that you can connect a harness to one last thing that you also need is two stroke oil and a gas can you just mix those up and that'll fill up the blower and guys i knew that i was going to touch up on this but this is easily the most efficient way to clean a gutter is just getting on top of the roof and blowing out the debris after then you just go back on the ground and blow it into a natural debris site like a bag or a bush or the street that's what i like to do and it is a money maker now the big thing about starting a ten thousand dollar gutter cleaning business per month is that you need to charge accordingly guys so you definitely need to have the marketing material and do what's right find out what works and do more of that stuff because the equipment is the sexy part about it but at the same time you've got to be doing your due diligence every single day to get the lead flow for your gutter cleaning business to propel it to ten thousand dollars a month and beyond so keep marketing and keep getting the jobs effectively but guys these are the pieces of equipment that i use i have definitely accumulated the most efficient way of cleaning gutters with this setup and i believe that anyone can really start it up it's super profitable it's super low overhead and i would definitely highly highly recommend getting into it if you haven't but guys if you enjoyed this if you got any type of value out of this smash the subscribe button as i'm posting a ton of value so i can see you succeed i want to see you succeed very badly and it does help me out it motivates me to continuously keep making videos for you guys and you know I love each and every single one of you guys. So if you're having any problems finding jobs in the gutter cleaning business, I have a complete video that I go over on how to find these jobs in this video right here, guys. I love you. Peace.